gang, it's Mike from the Reuben Memoirs, and you never know where these Reubens are going to take us. I'm up here in Novi, Michigan at Gatsby's Food and Spirits. I've got three very special guest correspondents, maybe four, but three for sure. My brothers are joining me, and get this, my brothers, yes, they, yeah, we're doing Reuben reviews, here we go. Herman, Norman, and Tomas, we are the son of German immigrants. Yes, those are their real names. Apparently, by the time I showed up, all the ethnically rich German heritage names were taken up. So I lucked out with Mike. So at any rate, we're here. We're gonna do the Reuben review at Gatsby's. Sure to have a lot of fun. These guys are excited about it. And uh, we'll, we'll save the formal introductions on the inside. So see you there. So, I, I run the Reuben Memoirs. Okay. It's a YouTube channel. And I eat Reuben sandwiches. It's kind of a big deal. We're ordering four Reubens here. One for each of those big boys and myself. No, no, I don't need Reubens. Yeah, your house weight. And we're going to do a breakdown and do a full uh, ranking of your Reuben sandwich. So tell the chef, we'll bring his egg So, uh, Norman, you're the oldest one here, right? Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, so you, you, how long have we known each other? Like, <laughs> Oh, what is it now? <laughs> a couple 40, decades? 45, 46 years. <laughs> this is the first time we're participating in the Reuben Memoirs. That's Looking cool. forward to it. Oh my gosh. It's brought an appetite too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now second in pecking order would be Herman chronologically, right? Good question. You know, I've rarely eaten Reuben's mic, but is the Reuben, the corned beef, is that related to the venison? Mm. No. <laughs> okay. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting that today, Carson, but now the neat part, Herman and Norman, guess what? They're twins, and tomorrow is their birthday. So, 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 so here we go. Oi, oi, oi. So here we are. So, magical number tomorrow, what is it? 55. 55. I can't drive 55. Sammy exactly. Hayer's probably Sammy Sammy. doing shout outs to you guys. Excellent. Excellent. And then we got Tomas, who also Tomas. goes by Tom. Tomas. What's happening, Tom? gang? Yeah, that's right. So, Tom, you're a big fan of the Reuben Memoirs. You uh, know the cadence of how they absolutely. come out and you're watching them. You know what? I've enjoyed all three seasons. Now I understand we're in season four. Yeah. We've been asked to join my little brother, Michael, to break down <laughs> the Reuben at the Gatsby. But I'm really looking forward to, and I've always said it in past uh, direct messaging to my little brother, is more cheese danglers. Mm. I'm looking forward to even proportions. I'm talking a third of bread, third of corned beef, third of some cheese, third of kraut. So looking forward to seeing what's going to happen here. You mean quarters? Yeah. Third, 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 okay? Okay. So, yeah, quarters. If you want to think about quarters, quarters whatever. But anyways, looking forward to a good, good afternoon. And uh, hey. With that being said, I'm going to flip it back over to the little brother, Mike. Yeah, yeah. So no matter what, when you're last in line, you're always little brother, no matter how tall nor how old you get. So here we are. This is my nephew, Carson. He brings all the personality, Edgar. don't you? Edgar. What, who's Edgar? Oh. He's a dog. How do you know Edgar? Edgar. <laughs> Whose dog is it, Carson? You want to give a shout out to Edgar? I, 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 I think he might be watching right yeah. now. Edgar. You want to say hi to Edgar? Edgar. So Edgar's our mutt. He's a mongrel. We picked him up at uh, Humane Society. Okay, I think Carson is checking out. We'll get back with you guys once all the food is delivered. They're being this delivered. Looks like it's pumpernickel okay. bread here. Okay. Unique combination. Mm. Look at that. Ooh, Got the classic yeah. Lay's up front. Yeah. The pre-wrapped pickle spear. This is. These are the perfect compliments to a Reuben sandwich, yeah. along with a nice coolie that I wash everything down with. Ooh. Quoting my friend DJ Will up in the town. Oh, there we go. Who do we have here? You want to Oh, yeah. Your name is? My name is Lindsay. Lindsay. She is the hostess with the mostest today. She's taking care of us. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Looking forward to this. Can I get you guys anything else right now? No. We're good. All right. Thank you. But take a look at this right up front. Oh, my goodness. They have got a solid amount of, of sauerkraut. This guy was asking for quarters. Thirds, the sauerkraut is not to be skimped here. Look at, they layered it in between the corned beef. That's a classy move. They got the side of Thousand Island dressing here. 
So everybody can put as much as little as they want. Oh, 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 oh. And you're at least looking real good. Look right here. Let's do a maiden voyage, guys. Oh my goodness. Well, first bite and then we'll do a half time break. Where are you sauce? Here is your hot way top there. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 The Hartman Hooligans yeah. are live in Nova. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> the toasting <clears throat> is amazing. Right up front. Very, very good. We'll talk to you at the half time break right now. It's a very good ribbon. It's solid. Like the flavor is great. Uh, to your point, maybe one or two more layers of that corned beef because it's shaved corned beef. It's nice and thin. Yeah. Maybe I mean, more Swiss cheese. That's what we're yeah. here for. The I agree. But, well, I mean, that's, I'm glad they aren't using the, 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 let's say, processed Swiss because they're certainly not. But it's just... The, the, the Swiss cheese is either so thin or so sparingly, like if they doubled or tripled the amount that they're using in here, they could step it closer to the grate. Right now it's very good. As I said earlier, equal proportions to equal ingredients. Mm. The sauerkraut, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect, oh, perfect. Without a doubt, no doubt. A layer of sauerkraut. Corned beef needs to match that same exact layering of kraut. A little thicker on the corned beef. A little mm -hmm. thicker on the beef. Just to match the intensity. Mm -hmm. The intensity, that's but all But the we're beef talking. tastes great. Corned beef yeah. is juicy. Yep. It's all there, but smidge more. And again, I'm looking for that cheese dangler. Didn't find it. Didn't yeah. find it, but mm -hmm. I can taste it. Yeah, yeah, I agree with I about that. I can taste it, but I can't find it. So there, there's definitely good Swiss cheese in there. Yeah. The pumpernickel is unique. It's Boston. nice. It's toasted. It's nice and crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. All no, the way through. That's all. No fennel yeah. seeds, no caraway seeds, yeah. uh, in either the kraut nor the uh, bread, which is really nice. The density of the toast is right there throughout the yeah. entire, the entire enjoyment of the sandwich. Yeah, it's a hearty piece of bread, right? I agree. I like that's hard to find. It is hard. To and to tie in all these flavors, they've uniquely wrapped a nice spear pickle. Phenomenal. Yeah. Good, good catch and, on that one. And again, and I love it. Okay, okay. I okay. love it. No, I'm new to this. Mike, clarify the dressing. Did they hit it or not? I mean, I thought, is it Russian or is it Thousand Island? Like, it's Thousand Island. I mean, that is the traditional. It's uh, Thousand really? Island. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. It is. I like so, it. I mean, you, they got you a cup of Thousand Island. And what I like about that, you know, everybody can put as little or as much as they want. The bread's not getting soggy. Uh, uh, this is what I'm going to say. Overall rating. Mm. <laughs> Overall rating. I'm giving the sandwich a four. I'm giving the service from Lindsay five stars. Five oh, yeah. out of five stars. <laughs> Lindsay's total rock star. The company could be improved, but oh no, what did I mean? It couldn't get better company than family. Like this is amazing. The cameraman is spot on. I'm giving the cameraman five out of five stars. And the voodoo IPA compliments the entire oh. party in my mouth. <laughs> Flavor explosion. Flavor right explosion, here. without a doubt. So, yeah, fellas, we'll, 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 we'll end it real quick. Improv 2. Zigga zagga, zigga zagga. Oi, oi, oi. So, shout out to our recent followers, Bernie and Tracy Kirkus. They, we met them in Port Huron at our last Ruben review. Actually, season four, episode one. They saw us doing this. They subscribed immediately. Ray Wadaki, Howell Needless. He is also a brand new uh, a subscriber, so we so appreciate that. Tom, you had some perspective. What do you want to share yeah, about you know that? What? As I mentioned about the cheese dangler, you know what? Oh, maybe yeah. maybe that's missing. I gotta tell you, I've never seen it before in any of the reviews. There is kraut dangler. Kraut dangler. And when you can get the kraut dangler First going, time. I'm telling you what. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. That is held together by Swiss. That is oh, held that together by Swiss. Real but deal. you got oh, yeah. the kraut. You got mm. the kraut hanging oh my there gosh. Oh. right into oh. the sandwich. Now you got yourself a nice oh, layered, a nice layered ribbon. And yet the toast remains firm. The density is there. Pumpernickel salad. Spot on. Mm -hmm. Spot on. Definitely yep. worth the hour drive getting here. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. If you guys are anywhere near Novi, Michigan, Gatsby's is the place to come if you want a solid Reuben sandwich. Remember, we are making Reuben's great again. Hashtag Merga.